My first question uh, seems to be to everybody, how did you find out about Atlantis? Oh, it lies back some time now. Um, let me think. I was in a forum for quite a long time and my teacher said uh, there is a possibility we could choose and she would like to take some students from her forum to Vertlantis. She was already a member there and she was quite happy to find Vertlantis and she checked it and she found that it would do us good also be there. And so I came over to Vertlantis. And was that your first experience of virtual worlds and second life? Uh, <clears throat> okay, my frame was small when I came here first uh, because uh, I had no idea how it works, um, that I could change my outfit, I could change my appearance. I was huge, hugely impressed by all those opportunity Vertlantis offers us. And, and I was astounded the teacher here are so fond to help the students to get on in their language. And there was no pressure from everywhere. That was great. You could, you could uh, get in Vertlantis when, whenever you want. You could de take part in any session you want is um, quite relaxing for me. I, was, I wasn't under any pressure. So it's not like a typical course in, say, a classroom where you have a set amount of time and you have to attend each session? Oh, it's quite different. Um, everybody of us know how to sit in a classroom, uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a seat or on a, on a seat with lots of people around you and we all have to listen to the, to the teacher. Uh, Vertlantis is completely different because for me as, um, as a learner who needs uh, to see things around me, uh, it's quite easier, it's uh, relaxing, it's, um, how shall I say it, it's um, just fun. I'm. Uh, I, I can learn English with lots of fun, uh, with lots, um, I take, um, I can name things around me in English. You can see here, when I am sitting here, you can see a rug, a floor, a wall, wood, a display, picture, so many things. And my brain works. Beside, I am studying. Are there any downsides? Do you have any sort of technical difficulties? Uh, yes, my first problem was, of course, to hear my, my voice. Um, problems? I don't know. I can, I can be at the beginning of my, of my experience of Atlantis that I had some problems. Or the others had problems because I was too loud, or there was a crack, or something else. But uh, um, when you ask me now, I am perfectly satisfied with them all. I, I can cope with it. I, I I can adjust the volume when others are too loud for my ears, and so on. So you have uh, complete control over your learning experience by the sounds of it. You decide. What sort of sessions do you actually come to? What, what language are you learning, for starters? I'm learning English. I am, uh, my mother's tongue is German and I like to learn English, British English, by the way. Okay, and so what sort of sessions do you come to? Is it just learning? Is it, um, are you always in, in a... Um, a learning environment. What sort of things do you do in English on Atlantis? Uh, as for me, I prefer to talk, and I prefer to to hear new phrases, new words, and and Atlantis is um, is tailored 
to my lifestyle, I would, I would call it, because I can uh, get in whenever I want, around uh, 24-7, and I pick up the sessions I like. Uh, there is, for example, um, a session on, I, I think, on, on Wednesday, uh, a Polish teacher called uh, Vlodek um, likes to teach in English. A further sessions are held on Wednesday for PASIC. That's also a great thing. For example, recently um, we learned how to book um, a hotel room and we, we were, we were uh, at the reception and we had a role play. Uh, we had um, a counter, we had uh, we were in a, in a hotel bedroom. We named all the things in it. Uh, yes, it's just great. Uh, you, you would never get this experience in a classroom. Um, we, we were at, um, at a bus station and we, we all went on the bus and drove along. Um, we named the things on the bus. We had to buy a ticket. Uh, then the teacher was the driver, the bus driver, and then he handed over the wheel to a student. And don't me ask what happened then. And yes, we were in an aeroplane. We had to check in. Oh, we had so uh, lots of things to learn and. We saw the things. It's incredible. We saw the things. Yes, Atlantis <clears throat> provides also games. But I have heard uh, chess and and Scrabble. Uh, from time to time, I like to play Scrabble um, in Atlantis. And it's so it's so funny. Uh, lots of people from around the world are looking for a fitting word that would fit on the board and there is um, a gamekeeper called Alf he is also Austrian like me and he would never have a he would never uh, use a German word I think so even we both talk in English that's so funny uh, at first, I was quite shy and uh, was afraid when when my turn was, and I had to to create a word. And oh my God! And uh, you not have to create a word; you have to ask, and yeah, then you could have problems. And you are forced to, forced to talk, and that's quite important that you start to talk. So you say talking is important. I mean, you've you've mentioned visual. Um impetus, the visual stimulation of seeing the things around you and interacting with the things around you, but how, do you get much time to speak in these sessions? First I was just listening, but uh, after a time I recognized it would be important and it's on you how much time you need. They will give you the time you need. At first I was quite fast with expressing my thoughts. But after a time, I recognized other students there to use long time to talk when they get the chance. And I will do the same. And the teacher and the students give you the time you need to express your thoughts. And um, so it, it's not like a traditional course. Um, what, what motivates you to keep coming? I have fun with it. And uh, it's so important to me that I say to my uh, to my family, um, may, for example, today on Friday at eight, I have my uh, my session, and this is uh, I want, and um, I want to spend my time on on those sessions um, because it gives me pleasure, and I can get on in my English. It's not so uh, boring as I would sit over a book. It's lively. You have entertainment. You are not uh, with you alone. 
um, you get ideas from other people and you can learn from them and we all sit in the same boat and uh, we all want to learn English and uh, it's not to um, uh, to spend time just so I mean every one of us has to do so much thing beside this but um, yes it's my it's it's my hobby I'm I appreciate the time the teacher gives us you know they do it from their own will and I have to appreciate and I hope I can give all my experience and my knowledge and skills to other person in the same way when I am ripe <laughs> a ripe as an apple when I am ready that's really great thank you so much well that's really interesting and it's great to hear um, about personal experiences of this because uh, a lot of people don't really understand it um, but uh, hearing it from people who are actually doing it um, is invaluable I think so thank you so much for your time and for allowing me to interview you you did great <laughs> and uh, yeah we'll uh, get back Pleasure. to our real lives now I suppose yes of course um, and I wait for the next session <laughs>